Way to Grow is brought to you by Lacoste Garden Center, located at 2787 St. Mary's Road. Hi there, welcome to Lacoste Garden Center's Way to Grow. I'm Laura Ravey. Last week on the show, we showed you a real vegetable garden in progress. Now, it was still way too early to seed, and it's still maybe too early to seed, but that's why today we're showing you how you can start your vegetable gardens in containers with me is Dwayne Friesen from Lacoste. Now, take us through what we're seeing here and how you don't really have to go right outside for vegetables anymore. You can put them in containers. You can put them in containers, and this, is, this isn't something new, but I just want to incorporate a few different ideas of what we've done here, and I think this is really cool. So, uh, it is too early to get out there and do most of your seeding for the most part. But, if you don't have the room as well, what are you going to do if you want to have a few fresh veggies? Well, I've got some ideas here that I think you might like. I, I think this is just all really cool. Last year I showed you the potatoes and I'll re-show you again because mm -hmm. we had great response to it and I've got pictures that people sent in uh, with their yields of potatoes off of this. Now, in here we've got two potatoes cut in half and just a little layer of soil over top of them. As they start to sprout, uh, and green up, we keep covering them up with soil. And we've got our soil mix here, and so we just be throwing that back over. Gradually, we'll fill that whole pot up with soil. Mm -hmm. What happens is, is those potatoes will start developing from the bottom of the pot all the way up. You can get five, seven pounds of potatoes off of it. Wow. You know, it's not enough that's going to last you the winter, but if you want to get fresh potatoes, you can do that. If you want to stick your hand in the pot and take out a potato or two, that's okay too through the course of the season. You can do that. And uh, so that's neat and, and very successful and it works. And what an efficient use of space too. If yeah. You, if you're in a condo or something, you can have a container you can have on that. your balcony. That'd yeah. be great. And then the next thing is onions. We've taken a whole sea pack of, t of onions, thrown them into the same size container, there's about 70 onions in there. Way too many onions really for that type of space, but we've used it all up right to the edge. Uh, over the course of the summer now, you can start thinning it out so that you can give more room for the onions that are there to grow. And uh, as you thin it out, you can use it. So by July, you'll start pulling out some, uh, some fresh, I'm not calling them tomatoes, I was calling them onions, <laughs> but they should be called onions. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you can start pulling them out, using them, frying them up or using them fresh. Next thing, carrots. Um, this, again, great. Taking a package of uh, seed, carrot, or seed, sprinkling it over the top, very, very thick. There's a lot of seed in carrots and it's a fine seed, so it's usually very thick. Again, we'll have to do some thinning on there. There's way too much in there. Um, but uh, you can start thinning, get your baby carrots coming out early and using them. They taste great mm -hmm. and leaving some in there so that you've got something to eat during the whole course of the summer. So mm -hmm. another easy thing to do. Then uh, next, got a, a lettuce and a radish combination. The lettuce is in the middle. It's going to grow taller and be a bigger plant. The radish is going to be on the end, on the ring around the ring around the posy, so to speak, <laughs> um, so that uh, you've got two crops going inside there. The radish you're going to be able to harvest very, very quickly, and you can reseed the radish while the lettuce is still there, and just keep picking your lettuce off, and you can reseed your lettuce yet too. So just keep that pot going. And this will look pretty too. It I will mean, look great. Look, yeah. Yeah. And you can eat it. Yeah, and it's vegetable. <laughs> and, yeah. and you know what? Hopefully it'll look used. Yeah. Hopefully th there's going to be a bare spot in it that's because you used it. Exactly. <laughs> and then our last one that we got here uh, is uh, peas. And we just put some chicken wire in there, make your little trellis for it to climb up, and the peas coming up give you some fresh peas. Now again, none of this is in amounts that are going to you know, keep you alive through the winter if mm -hmm. you need that. But it's going to give you that opportunity to have some fresh produce on your, on your table uh, for a few times and, uh, and you've grown it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, There's something uh, very practical about that and it's very inexpensive to do. The pots are all reusable and uh, do it again next year. And it's good practice for someone like me who isn't an avid gardener. This is a good way to experiment, yeah. see what grows, what you like. Yeah. yeah. Now the prerequisite for all of this though is sun. With okay. all of your vegetables, you're going to need full sun for that. And with the soil mix that we recommend using a soilless mix, um, that gives you the good drainage. You do need to fertilize in here some good uh, uh, organic uh, options that you can use on it. They're, they're all very uh, gentle fertilizers so that you're not going to have to worry about over fertilizing or overdoing it on there. So you can use those on, on, your, uh, on your produce here. And a little and goes a long way. A little goes a long way. <laughs> okay. You follow the directions yes. on it. So on that. more fertilizer doesn't mean more plants. This is something I've just learned. Yeah. Just use a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that's just a simple way of bringing the garden to you, making it accessible on your balcony uh, or on your patio if you want it. And you know, we've got a herb garden that you can do that. You know, don't limit yourself. Yeah. Experiment, have some fun with it. And it looks beautiful and you'll have a great salad and food yeah. and dinner party. That's dinner a great party. idea. Okay, thanks so much, Dwayne.